Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you guys on the active blazer ads and um, how to increase your um, CPC and uh, the CPM on your website. So uh, I'm going to share some of my main strategy that I use on all my sites I have. So uh, so by using this strategy, it can uh, increase your CTR at the same time it can increase your CPC. So uh, it's one of my uh, competitors website and I'm going to show you guys the uh, ad strategy they used and uh, I, I use the ad block so it's, you're not going to see your ads in the website but I'm going to show you back and place the ads inside mobile um, inside mobile platform and on uh, uh, desktop and on uh, tablet so uh, so first let me show you guys the where place ads on um, desktop so this is going to be the main page uh, of the site uh, so you can see uh, they're using a, a large rectangular ad on the top of the site you can see near to the logo so you can place there the CTR is not going to be good but it's going to get you a lot of CPC like the increase in mostly uh, in the visitors are not going to click the ads much but uh, every time they click you're going to get paid a lot so um, this one can increase your revenue and um, that's it I use a uh, 300 by 600 on the right side of right side of the website so it's going to increase your uh, 62 uh, <clears throat> and I'm gonna put that ad as uh, uh, that ad as for both desktop and for uh, mobile because it's, it can appear on both desktop and mobile and uh, that's it guys those are the two ads I place on the main main page of the website so let me go inside the article and just let me show you guys um, where to place the ads inside the article so um, so the those two ads are gonna um, appear on the articles too you can see here those ads will uh, automatically uh, appear on uh, these two sections of the website because it's desktop. So and uh, so you need to place the ad before the title and after the title. It's totally different on you because they both perform pretty much the same. I have split touched those things and uh, like mostly on my website I use after the title because uh, so like you can see the title. Uh, these types of title can uh, increase the CPC and the CPM. So I use uh, after the title. So I place a, a rectangle or a square ad inside here. If it's a mobile, I want to use square, and if it's a um, desktop, then I'll use a um, tri uh, sorry the rectangle ad here. And uh, so I want to use a 300 by 600 um, the land the banner on the right side corner. So it's pretty much so common. Like you can pin this to the uh, you can pin this ad inside ad insert and. Uh, uh, you can there will be an option where you can you need to tick everything like mobile, desktop, tablet, and it's gonna appear on pretty much everything. And after 300 words, like, sorry, not after 300 words, after three paragraphs, I used to have a square ad inside the article in, in desktop. It can help you with uh, increasing in CTR because uh, mostly the audience retention on websites will be much lesser. Like people bounce off within like uh, you know, after scrolling uh, half the page. So I try to monetize the. I don't want to leave on uh, leave out on uh, potential revenue. So mostly I have a, a square ad here. which is going to be 320 by uh, uh, 280. So auto zero also use 336 by 280. It both works the same. Uh, or let's go for the uh, responsive one because uh, if it's a responsive, then it's going to create a, a big banner inside uh, um, the paragraph. If it's working with you, then just go for it because uh, ads is recently removed the removed those uh, limitations on how many ads you can place on your website. As long as you give good content and a good amount of um, um, words inside your article, like I I, I almost um, go for 800 to 1000 words articles. I didn't do 300 or 400 word articles because it's not going to perform well compared to more higher articles because. Uh, uh, recently, Google and AdSense started supporting those type of articles. Just go for higher keywords articles, then uh, lesser keyword articles. After the article, and uh, I used to have a, um, a rectangular ad, uh, and um, it's not going to get a lot of CTR, but it's uh, you need to monetize the place because you can't have anything there like your. Mostly, if you have a affiliate link or other thing, it's not going to get you a lot of clicks. So I try to monetize the place with uh, AdSense, and I keep AdSense ad. And you can also go with uh, 
native ads, like uh, you can see here. So this is how a native ads appears in here. So right now it's not there. I'm just showing you guys the example on how it looks like. So native ads is something which um, going to promote an article like this, like a fun ways to make money online, four ways to easy way to make money online. So they're not using it. So this is how the native ads appear. So mostly you can see here. Uh, Powered by the small line says powered by Outbrain or powered by Tabula or else uh, Engine. So those are the active active ad networks. I'm sorry, uh, native ad networks out there. You can join there as a publisher, and um, you can paste their ad code inside websites, and you can get, you can also get paid uh, from those ad networks. So uh, before you go for Google Adsense accounts, make sure you have uh, all these. Uh, Pages really like all the private access, so the private policy, uh, privacy policy, terms and services, and other things about us and contact us pages uh, because it's gonna it's very important to have those pages on the website so it can uh, increase the uh, um, transparency on your website on that what you're getting out of a customer, viewers, visitors. Uh, because sometimes uh, uh, you might collect some information and uh, uh, some websites collect information and uh, they sell it on um, that other websites. So uh, you need to have the privacy policy and uh, cookie policy on your websites to uh, uh, comply with ads and so. So there are other like um, let me show you guys where to place ads on the mobile feed. So the mobile uh, platform. Uh, so let me, you need to click on left click and uh, inspect element. Let me change this into a mobile. So let me refresh this. So uh, you can see. Uh, so this is how the account. Sorry, this is how the entire website is going to appear on your mobile. So I need. I always have a art um, like a responsive ad unit right at this place because it's about the fold mostly you get a lot of click through on about the fold uh, ads compared to the below the fold ads so uh, these ads will get you a lot of clicks uh, about the fold below the title so always have an um, ad unit right there and uh, after paragraph 2 try to have an ad unit there and after paragraph 3 try to have ad, another ad unit you can use 3 to 4 ad units on mobile but I recommend three ad units compared to four because uh, you don't have a lot of content on your website uh, to have more than uh, two, three articles. Sorry, two, three ad units. Uh, I suggest always go for three ad units, uh, so which is is really really suggested on all the websites I have seen and I have worked. It's working perfectly well. And the C increasing the CPC. Let me talk about that. So you. There are certain niches which is going to get you um, CPC for uh, two minutes to three minutes. Sorry, two 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 dollar to three dollars. So uh, you need to work on those niches and you need to build your niches. Uh, so build your sites on those niches. Like uh, there are some niches like uh, insurance, um, car dealerships, um, healthcare, um, fitness. All those niches will give you like uh, one dollar to two dollars in CPC. Uh, which is very important because uh, to run a business, you need to have uh, uh, like you will know, you'll be spending a lot of money on um, SEO and you will know, you'll be spending a lot of money on um, the paid traffic. So uh, if you're doing that, then always go for high CPC niches. You can drive traffic from Facebook, Pinterest, and Google Ads. Um, on Google Ads, there's uh, uh, recently there's an option where you can run ad as a native, like a native ad network. So uh, so the your article is going to pop up on someone's article. Uh, someone's website and it's going to get you the traffic to your site so recently this the cost per click is very cheap on google ads try to utilize it and try to make good amount of money out of it because um, facebook is is a majority of users are using facebook or they're not utilizing the google uh, so for traffic so you go for it and use the google ad network adwords for getting traffic to your website and Pinterest is also one of the good uh, platform you can uh, get a lot of organic traffic uh, from Pinterest and YouTube and Reddit. Uh, so all these platforms can um, potentially get you like 100,000 to 100,000 a monthly visitors. But it's going to take a lot of time to uh, build a profile or build a group of people to uh, click on your articles and read the articles and uh, make your money out of uh, ads and stuff. So. so mostly those audiences are pretty heavily targeted and they have a lot of cookies on their browsers so they can get a good amount of money uh, if you have a niche site 
um, this side performs much more better compared to uh, the normal sides. So always go for the niche site and uh, let me show you guys marketplace ads on the home page. So on home page you don't need many ads on mobile because people will come directly to the uh, article. So uh, you don't need to look, uh, care about the uh, home page. Uh, all you need is uh, 300 by, uh, sorry, 600 by 300 ad unit. So it, it appears at the end of the uh, uh, website. So it can get a lot of clicks on the uh, mobile so these are the main places where i place my ads and uh, pretty much all the money i made from mobile so like uh, 80 percent of my traffic is coming from mobile so i know where to place ads and what ads perform so well after testing for two three years of data this is the exact places where i place my ads so um, i hope you got some information out of this video and uh, make sure you like this video and leave a comment if you, if you need any help leave a comment i'll be answering all your questions and see you guys in the next video